Hope you guys are doing well. All right, so yesterday's nail, um, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna actually file this into shape and then um, we're gonna use the electric file to go through uh, and then reduce bulk. So your hand file is going to be used to shape the perimeter of the nail. You can stick this pen out and then you're going to be using your electric file to actually reduce the bulk from the surface and prepare it for painting or just top coat application. A tapered square nail and right so this was you know something that like once it's dry you have to be able to adjust the sides so one of the things you have to remember is if you're looking at the nail from the top and let's just say like this is the nail that you actually had created um, and there's a little bit of width right here um, there's going to be five points of filing, right? So what we have to do is we have to file point one. We have to file point two. We have to file point three, right? So this is one. You have two. You have three. And then from the sides, right? This is going to be four, and then the opposite side is going to be five. All right, so you have five points of filing. And what you have to do in order to get it really shaped well is you have to kind of shape the perimeter of the nail before you actually start to use your electric file. So it doesn't matter if you use a 150 or 100. All right, so one of the things, I'm just going to break out a new file. I'm going to make sure that we take down the edges of our file so that we don't cut ourselves or our client. And I want to be able to keep contact with the side profile. Since it is a tapered square nail, right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make sure that I'm keeping contact with the whole entire side. So what you're going to see is you're going to see just the side of the file. I'm not going to open it up. Notice how I'm actually holding on to the file. I'm not holding to the surface like this. You have to make sure that you're putting pressure on one side, right? So that you could create a straight ledge. Same on the other. I need to put pressure with my thumb on my opposite side. I need to keep contact. You notice I keep my thumb here. I could rest, right? So one of the things you can do, I, a lot of people like, they like slip, right? They like slip. They like slip. Well, if you keep your thumb down and then you rest the file here, then what you can do is you could kind of put pressure down and then down into the side so that what we could do is we could file a straight ledge. So you can see that I have a really straight ledge all the way from the top all the way to this point right here. And that's what we want to be able to create, okay, on both sides. Now, your front, you have the choice of making it dead square by keeping the file like this, or you could taper it by bringing the file down, right? And if you taper it, it'll kind of round off the front of the edge. If you're looking at the side profile, it'll give you that slight cut, right? That, that tapered cut. I usually like to do that. Now for four and five, we have to do is, you're gonna take your client's hand, and you're going to turn it to the side, okay? This is really important. Because what we don't wanna do is we don't wanna build a notch right here, right? So the biggest problem that a lot of nail technicians make is when they're filing their edges, I'll just use this as an example, but, um, like if I was to just take my hand file and come in and just start blindly filing into the sides like this, right? So you, you're gonna see what ends up happening is you're gonna create a notch, right? So it's gonna come up and it's gonna do, it's just gonna look, it's gonna look just like that pick, 
that I, I showed you earlier. We don't want to do that. So what you have to do is you have to turn the customer's hand to the side and you can visually see that the lower arch is hanging below. So what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to line up that file parallel to the finger. And then from this point, as I file up and I continue to file, I'm going to file until my lower arch, as you can see, ends up coming out perfectly straight, okay? Then we're gonna do the same thing to the opposite side. You're gonna turn your customer's hand to the side or even your own finger to the side. You're going to line it up parallel. And then what I wanna be able to do is I wanna be able to file up, all right? So until my lower arch becomes nice and even, all right? That's, that's the key in order for you to get it nice and tight, okay? Once you're done filing all the sides, then what we're gonna do is we're going to work through uh, the I-Formation roadmap. So all you guys out there that are learning how to use your electric file, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be working with my safety bit. So again, I need to make sure this is slightly out, just like this, boom. And then, th you know, what we have to be able to do is we have to be able to shape the eye, right? So the eye is, this part of the eye is going to cover that part. This part of the eye is literally the whole entire free edge, like you're looking down the barrel of the nail. This part of the eye is your side profile. This is going to be your upper arch. And then, once you're done shaping the eye, then everything else just needs to be blended forward. You have to be able to work your electric file in one direction, right? So I'm going to, as you can see, I'm gonna turn my electric file up to about 10,000 RPMs. I'm gonna fire it on, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to be working it forward. And then what we wanna be able to do, let me just bring my, there we go. So. If, if you're looking at it from the side profile, you can see the position. I mean, this is definitely distracting. Let me move this out of the way. All right, so here, if you're looking at the side, I don't, I mean, you could see there's a small, shallow end. So I don't really need to, I'm just gonna touch the back. Then I'm looking at the side, and then what we wanna be able to do is we wanna try to get that even, right? looking at the side profile. I'm filing through the middle of the nail. I'm not filing from side to side. I'm looking at the side so that I could see the arch and what I'm able to do is I'm actually able to position my bit so that I'm working from zone one to zone three. Zone one, zone two, zone three. Zone one, zone two, zone three. So that I could, you can could see that nice arch, okay? so the center of the eye is done. So when I'm going around the cuticle area, I'm going in one direction. All I'm doing is going, I'm not going side to side, I'm pulling in one direction just to kind of smooth it out. So that part of the eye is done too. Then what I wanna be able to do is I wanna be able to look down the barrel of the nail. Okay, so I'm looking down the barrel of the nail and I'm like, okay, there's the thickness here, there's thickness here. So what I wanna do is I wanna pull in one direction, one direction, see that? One direction all the way through, one direction all the way through. And then this part of the eye, as you can see, is done, okay? So once you've, you've removed bulk from all that, then it's really a matter of coming through and just kind of lightly pulling it, like the, the remainder, all you have to do is pull in one direction and I'm done. I don't need to file any more. That, that, is, that is it. So here at this point, I could literally take my hand file, go around the cuticle area, down one side. You can see how I'm literally, my file marks all my file marks are coming in this direction. I'm not like a lot of beginners. What they'll do is they'll take their hand file like this 
and then they'll do this, right, like this. This is not how you work. Position your finger on top. Use your wrist. It's a lot easier if you're just coming down, da down like this, right? To get that side, and then on this side, place your finger on top. Contact, contact going up, up, let it fall. Contact going up, let it fall. Contact, contact. You're going to, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to make contact going up and then allowing the, the, the hand file just to fall. And this is how we're going to really kind of shape it. And then you're going to see, you know, once we are done, I'll get in tight client profile. So I need to adjust the tip just all a little bit, but just slightly. So what I'll do is I'll look at this profile. I'll just make sure that it's going to be even from side to side. I want to be able to look down the barrel of the nail. And then what I could do is I could just kind of shape it nice and even. And then as you can see, right, that's, that's what we want to be able to do. That's, how you're going to be able to build a really nice, natural looking structure from what we created yesterday. All right, you can see the thickness that I have. That's what we wanna be able to create. That's how you're gonna be able to file. This is gonna set you up. So if you were going to do any type of painting, then what I would do is just like, literally don't buff too much. I go over it a couple of times, boom, done done like it's gonna be definitely rough enough for you to be able to paint protein bond the surface once you're done and then you're gonna be able to hit it with a top coat protein bond is going to give uh, it's going to act like a double-sided sticky tape but it's really going to give the adhesion that you need so that when you are doing any type of painting or top coat over the surface, it's really going to adhere well, right? This is gonna make your gel polish or anything stick extremely, extremely well, you know? So once you are done, it, it, you know, and it doesn't matter uh, what you're going to be painting, you know, if you're, if you're painting gel polish, then you don't need to use, you don't need to use a base coat. You know, what I'll do is I'll just kind of work it through, right, work it through the, this part of the body. And then once I'm done working it through this part of the body, then I'll try to get as close as I can with my first coat. Don't try to make it perfect on the first. You're gonna be able to do that with your second coat. But you can see after filing this into shape, even if I was going to use, if I was going to use a gel polish, right? It's gonna, it's gonna be really, really clean. Okay, that's what you want to be able to do. All right. So, shaping lesson for today: perimeter, electric file, work in one direction. Don't go side to side. You're not gonna, you're gonna slip if you do that. Um, if you guys have any questions, hit me up. Always here to help. Uh, for those of you guys that have. Um, I love it. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. Thank you guys for tuning in. Love you much. Peace.